the sky is clear, the sun is out. It's looking like it's gonna get pretty hot uh, today. So, But we're gonna be working in here today again, at least for a little while. And uh, we're gonna clean up the back room. Well, the back wing, technically the east wing of the house. Uh, I'm gonna show it to you and kind of show you what we have going here, what we've got to do to it. We got to do some cleanup before we can do anything, okay? Any kind of work. So let's take a look. Okay, so here is the wing of the house that we're gonna be working on. You can see a whole lot of insulation in there, uh, just kind of laid in there, which is not too big of a deal really because we're gonna be using that insulation in this wing of the house and a whole lot more. As I pan around, we've got a couple of closet spaces here, part of which is gonna become a stack chase for a boiler. These square bundles here are actually my blow-in insulation that'll go on top of the fiberglass when we're done. Now, our objective right at this moment is to clean up this room and those two rooms. so that we can knock out part of this wall. Now, if you look up here, you'll see the trusses. So this is actually a support wall. Okay, it lends to the structural support of the building. And I'm gonna take out three of these studs and put in a glue lamb beam, homemade glue lamb beam up at the top that will act as the support for the trusses to hold the roof up. But what that'll do is open up, combine these two rooms into one large master bathroom. And I've got my brother helping me right now. And my son's at the food truck. He's helping me today. My son will be here in a little while. But there's some spots where we have to do some insulating. Yellow fiberglass insulation will have to be taken out because it's screwed up all together and restuffed. That's what we have going for on for today, at least here. But for the moment, we gotta do cleanup. It shouldn't be too bad. It's just a pain in the butt. <laughs> uh, the results of a building that you're supposed to be working on, making into a home, being used instead as storage for 20 years. It happens, especially up here. It is not all that uncommon, but it doesn't make things any easier if you get my drift. So we're gonna go ahead, do clean up, get ready to work on that wing so that we can get that wing to the same place we have this living room in. I mean, look at this living room. It's really coming along, it's looking good. It's actually ready for electrical to be run through the exterior walls. And even though there isn't much electrical that I'm going to be running through the exterior walls, it's ready for it, man. Everything is coming right along. I freaking love it. I love it. Let's get it. All right. <clears throat> now that we've got a couple of these rooms in the hallway kind of cleaned up so that we can access this area to work, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here. This wall here is actually a support wall supporting the weight of the roof. Okay, that, in, that includes the weight of the roof for the snow load. In order to open this up and create one large master bathroom space, I'm going to remove these four studs and replace them with a glue lamb beam, homemade glue lamb beam. That'll give us plenty of support for the roof. Even with a snow load, there won't be a problem. That's what we're gonna start working on here. I've gotta go into town and get some two by sixes because uh, I don't have adequate two by six material here in the yard. So I'm gonna have to go purchase new ones and uh, make our glue lamb out of that. So here we go. All right, so what did we do? Well, we had to go and get some uh, two by sixes. They were n not the greatest. So now I have to treat these with bleach after rinsing them off with water. And what's all this darker color stuff? There's darker color stuff in here that is uh, black mold, which is something you do not want in your house. So is that why we're 
treating them with bleach? So yes, to get rid of the black mold, I'm treating these with bleach. And how are you gonna apply the bleach? I'm gonna apply the bleach with this handy dandy paint roller and some water, just like so. Is that a pretty strong solution of bleach? That's, yes. Brandon uh, went through and cleaned these boards up. Now all we're gonna do is create our own glue lamb beam out of them. And just like the, the name implies, we have to add glue to it. And because this isn't going to show uh, out in the open, we're just gonna add glue to it. We're gonna screw things together to keep that glue compressed and the boards together while the glue dries. And uh, then once it's dried up, you know, all the glue is dried, then we'll come back through, clean up any of the excess glue. I'll decide at that point in time whether or not I wanna do any sanding, but right now I doubt it. Now for this project, I'm actually using Type Bond 3 Ultimate Hold Wood Glue. Uh, it's for interior or exterior, which is the reason I'm using it. This thing is gonna be going on the inside but it's going to be in the bathroom area, so there, it is going to be exposed, exposed to moisture. So I'm using a glue that's rated for exterior. And because I'm not super particular at this point, I'm just pouring some out. And then I have a silicone brush type outfit that I'm going to use to just spread this around. Set it in this little silicone tray there. And set it on and even it up at the ends. Oh, there's a staple there. We'll deal with that in a minute. Brandon, throw a screw in. Do it at an angle because this is the bottom piece and it'll go all the way through if we don't. Like this? Yep. More. Just beneath the surface there. That's good. Did not come through. Now, if I was gonna home make this beam and then put it in a place where it would have to be a finished product, in other words, look beautiful and all of that, then this next row, what I would do is put extra glue on it and instead of screwing it down, I would clamp it all together. But because this is going to end up being covered up completely with drywall or sheetrock, 
I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll go ahead and do the same thing with this. We'll run the screws down to hold it in. It'll be all good. But in the instance that I actually would... Okay, it's the next day and the uh, glue has actually dried. And uh, you can see where we have, well, you will be able to see where we have some places where the glue actually squeezed out from between, which is normal. There's nothing wrong with it. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a regular hand chisel, take that off, and then I'll make a decision whether or not I need to grind this down. I actually am thinking that I might grind this down just to smooth it out. Last thing we need to do is run a four inch sliver right through our hand while we're trying to get it up into place. But it doesn't have to be a whole lot. Just a little bit. What I've done is I've just put, because I'm not going for any kind of a finished look or on anything for this, I have a DeWalt angle grinder a top speed of 6,000 RPMs. So it's one of their slower models. It's made for more torque, more horsepower, but less speed. I put a sanding wheel on that. It just is 50 grit. That'll tear a bunch of this stuff loose and get rid of it. Kind of smooth it down a little bit, but not too smooth. Get it prepped for being able to put it in. Hey everybody, uh, I actually forgot to turn on the camera, so I started this part of the project uh, momentarily without the camera running, I apologize, but I will show you what I did. Now, in the yard I had uh, part of a platform that we used to use to put on over top of the top rail of scaffolding to be able to build a full plywood deck, right? Well, I found it, I didn't think I had any more, but I found one and I have attached it to the ceiling. Now, I'm on my own right now, but you can do it, you know? It is possible to do it. This actually spans more trusses than I really need, but what I did is I created, I used some scrap two by four material and I just screwed it together to create an L, screwed the vertical to the truss, and then screwed the horizontal down into the top of this beam. Now that's just going to hold that beam in place while I put the four by four verticals underneath it to just support the weight of the roof, well, the weight of these uh, three trusses while I cut this wall out or this section of wall out so I can do my reframing. Uh, <clears throat> but this will, this is plenty to be able to support the weight that I need it, uh, need to support while I do this transfer. So now you can watch what I do. I have a couple of treated two by, or four by fours out in the yard and I'm just gonna use those.
one post on each side going up to the blue lamb beam that we built and that spans eight feet Ooh, come on yeah, that spans eight feet comes over to another post that just happens to also line up with the king stud for the interior doorway and goes down to the floor from there that post according to my measurements lines up with the concrete wall down below so I have point load support clear from the ceiling or the roof all the way down to the foundation <sighs> and that is how you make a structural wall into an archway and opening up two rooms into one homemade glue lamb beam with a post on either end with load support going clear from the roof down to the foundation you can't get any stronger than that Now, this is all at one level. So when I get ready to do the flooring, my subfloor will go all the way across. Create one solid floor all the way through. And as I said, that is how you go through a petition wall that is a load bearing wall and make one big room out of two smaller ones. Hell yeah! Gotta love it when a plan comes together. If you found this video either entertaining or you learned something of value for yourself, please don't forget to punch that like button down below, even hit the subscribe button, and the little bell notification so you get notified anytime I upload a video. Take care, y'all. Peace.